Hey y'all, welcome back to our Road Less Traveled and you may be wondering what the Sam Hill is Clay doing upside down on the roof. Stand by and I'll tell you. Alright y'all, I've got another project here and I don't know how in the world to hook this up because it has like zero instructions, so. Hey, you could watch YouTube. <laughs> We've gotten into a couple situations where backing up the, the fifth wheel has been a little bit of a pain in the butt. Now, usually what we do is I, I get the thing set up and then I guide Maria in because she listens better than I do and I know how to direct the trailer, which she's not that great at. <clears throat> anyway, Maria bought me this, what is this? It's a Halo View B7 or 7B backup camera. Uh, our fifth wheel is pre-wired for a Furion system and supposedly this little thing just mounts into it, but I don't know if that connector right there is going to fit. And then they sent all these other cables here and I don't know what in the world to do with them. We're gonna give it a shot and see and Maria jokes and says I should watch YouTube. Well I have watched YouTube and what it shows is somebody take the screws out of the plate and then it shows them cock up the camera and go voila it's done. Well this is gonna be a little more in depth you're probably gonna hear some bad language so anyway we're gonna get to it. So, that's the Furion thing, that's the gasket, we don't need this. There's a bead of silicone right here, I'm trying to get off. This is a great example of using the wrong tool for a project. I should have had a scraper instead of my thumbnail. We're fortunate in that east to west pre-wired this with the Furion connection. So those two are just going to be a quick, that is not going to be a quick, can I, I got to figure out how to get those two together. Let me see the rest of that box. <laughs> there goes the GoPro. <laughs> I'm getting it strapped on. It's okay though, because we hate the GoPro. Here's what I don't like about this camera. It, it says that it's a complete replacement for the Furion. Uh, you lose your hood. It does come with a hood to replace it. But this end piece right here only works with that cable. None of these other 900 damn wires that they send you will interface with the Furion power pigtail. So you have to cut the pigtail off. It's just stupid shit like this that just send an adapter. These wires are so small. Alright, they did send wire caps, but now I gotta get down because I need electrical tape. 
I need pliers to crimp. And I don't know where to tell Maria to get those. I was not expecting to have to do this. It was supposed to be just plug and play. This is going to go into there. This green wire is a trigger. And if you hook it up to your reverse lights, then that automatically comes on or something, but I don't have access to the reverse lights up here, so well, since I was going to have to strip those ends anyway, I just cut all that extra off. We'll get a real knife here. We're not going to use this green one. And some of you are noticing that I stripped the black back further than I did the red. And the reason for that is I want the wire nuts to be at different positions when those are folded. So. Now we got the wire nuts. Now we can start putting this thing back together. On this connection here, I don't want that somehow coming loose. So I'm just going to tape that connection right there so I don't have to worry about it. What we're going to do is we're going to use the original screws, but instead of just screwing them in, we're going to go a little extra step. Right, so all that wire goes down in there and then this does match up to the existing holes. It's the only thing that has been accurate so far. All right, now here's, here's what I'm going to I'm going to take that screw and I'm going to stick it in that silicone right there. just going to get it started. Just enough to hold it in place. I'm going to do that for each one of these. The reason why is I kind of want to fill those screw holes in. Then, I'm 
Now this is the nasty part. The only good thing about this is it'll dry clear. Alright, so I put silicone over the screw holes. I put it around the, the top and the edge so that should not leak. My opinion. Not real happy with the way it claims to go together. We're going to see if it works the way it's supposed to. I, I have my doubts. I've read that you can't get the signal from the back of the fifth wheel up to the up to the truck so we're we're gonna see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trick the fifth wheel into thinking that the truck's hooked up to it I gotta go find I gotta go find a jumper to do that. What I've done is I've made a jumper wire and we're going to see if this will go fit in the fifth wheel. Alright, so on the seven way, that is your charge and that's your marker lights. So if you plug that in there and that in there, it should. See these lights are on? So what that does is it's now got the camera on because the camera run off the marker lights. Okay. I'm going to crank the truck. This comes with a power adapter. I'm going to plug that in. I probably should have done this before I mounted the camera, to be honest with you. What are you looking for? I don't see where to plug the power into. This has like a PS2 power connector on there. So now I have to go to an adapter to get to 12 volt. No signal. That's not bad. Um, I'm gonna roll the windows up. We're this far away from the back of the, the fifth wheel. And my biggest concern was we had the truck nano ceramic tinted. Windows, you know, and it keeps the heat out. You can't feel heat. But I was worried the signal wouldn't make it through the tent. But it looks like, it looks like it's making it. So the next, oh, this is jankity. The next step is going to be, does the audio on it work? I mean, we can clearly see the, clearly see the ladder. There's the brightness. I don't see any other controls for audio. Picture, mirror, quad, record, park lane scan. I mean, the picture looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go back there. You see if you hear me. Hey, can you hear me? I can. Hello. 
Can you hear me? That audio is awful. I'm curious. So we're facing the, the, the camera is here and we're the, that's where that is. You want me to turn the truck around? I'm curious if it's still going to reach if we're backed in like we normally would be. It's still connected and we're this far from the well, So that's good. Well. That's a little confusing. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> it's like... Go away, crow. All right, so we would never, we would never be further away than that right there, pulling the fifth wheel. You can still see the crow moving around there. Okay, so that answers my question, because we would definitely be closer than this. Yep. All right, final thoughts. The camera wiring didn't make sense to me. They should have put the same pigtail on it, so it went into the the factory. Um, Furion. I shouldn't have had to cut anything off, but it went together the way it was supposed to. The bolts lined up. The gasket looked like it was a, a good quality. Um, in the truck, they provide a 12-volt adapter to your cigarette lighter, but you have to put in this adapter here to get to their monitor, which to me, they should have just put this connector on this wire. That makes no sense to me. Um, looks like it would increase the cost. The picture, really well. The distance is really well. It's going through um, this whole truck. Like I said, is nano ceramic tinted, um, which really ought to mess with with signals. So the signal is good. We've pulled an extra 10, 15 feet away from the the fifth one. It works fine. Um, the audio, the audio does work, but the speaker and the monitor is of a low quality and. You know, you, I, I can't make out what, what's being said. I can tell something being said. I just can't. But there's no need for us to be yelling anyway. We just need to be pointing. And for the price, it, I mean, if you need a backup camera and you don't want to spend $700 on Furion, looks like it's a good choice. Me, I wouldn't buy it again simply because of stuff like that. That's the crow. Mm-hmm. All right, this one's done.